It's apple picking time again, but I'm about ready to end this yearly tradition. I showed up to an apple orchard that I'm already more than a little sour on to try to find a few varieties that are good. But as usual, and as warned, the apples are almost all picked out, except the kind I don't want that are a few football fields away. At least my adorable niece Hazel is joining me, but just wait until the changing weather moves apple picking from a fall activity to a dead of August one. I won't be there for that. Putting your brother on your shoulders to get the few decent apples left is not my idea of fun. Even Mickey tired of it quickly, and he didn't even have to lift anyone up. He decided he'd rather read stories from his new favorite author, H.P. Lovecraft. I've eaten centipedes before, but this container clearly shows smaller, red-headed, snack-sized centipedes, known colloquially as Chinese redheads. These are a lot bigger than I thought they would be. Bigger? This thing is a monster! So what if it's a slightly different type of centipede? This is very nearly as disturbing as the last centipede I ate. Okay, a big bite. This thing is like eating a stick of wood. I just can't bite into it. As you can see, there's a very good reason for that. This thing is ugly and unbelievably disturbing, and its head looks more like a fist than a head. And it's affixed to wood. Of course it feels like eating wood. It's on wood. Pulling it off the stick, it becomes edible, but barely. It's dry, crumbly, and leaves bits of hard material in her mouth. Well, it tastes like really, I guess, zesty dirt. But above all, here's a question I'm not sure I've ever asked before. Will a two-year-old eat it? Yeah, she'll eat it. She's a bit hesitant, but one bite leads to another until she's had enough. That's my little girl. <laughs> Apple picking, I think I'm quitting you. Okay, a quick change of topic. I'm a high school senior this year, and I'm pretty sure where I'm headed for college. I've got scholarships of various types, and I'll make it happen. But here's a thought. Are you involved in the admissions department for a university? And have any desire for an incoming student with a decade-long track record of making sometimes watchable content who will promote the hell out of your university as a form of quid pro quo? Do you have the ear of someone who would like to contact me and discuss what new brand we could build together? Or maybe you'd just like to have me visit with a meal made from something truly horrifying. Contact me. If you promise me we won't go apple picking, we'll make something happen.